I'm gonna marry me and find me a good girl I'm gonna marry me and find me a good girl I'm gonna marry me and find me a good girl I'm gonna find me a good girl A good girl You're gonna find me a girl Find me a girl, find me a girl Number one in the world One in the world, one in the world My name is Michael Claiborne, and I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a grad student at Atlanta University, majoring in psychology right now. I've been here all my life. I have watched Atlanta grow from music to fashion to movies with a new Hollywood. <laughs> See, that's my best friend, Jock. And even as kids, we was always in competition with the girls. And this is how it started. Boys are better than girls at everything. We were born better. I know it. That's not true. Women can do anything that men can do. Oh, really? Like what? Like everything. We're smart, athletic. We can play basketball, baseball, anything. Stop right there. We're the kings. We provide, work hard, take care of our family, put food on the table, and keep a roof over your head. All y'all got to do is cook and clean. Is it really that hard? And don't forget, taking care of the kids. I take care of the kids, my brother. Boys are so, so simple. I am so glad that I checked no when you asked me to be your girlfriend. Oh, really? It's OK. You're going to regret it when I come a pop star. But you know what? If I race you to that bench and I win, you got to give me a kiss on the cheek. I will beat you. Oh, really now? You cheated. You cheated. You cheated. You I won fair and square. You cheated. No, I did not. a kiss. You lost. Could you stop talking? Oh, really? Here's my cheek. Now you owe me a kiss. Be quiet. Well, stop. You lost. Now give him his kiss. Mind your own business. You're not in this. Exactly. You cheated. That's all little boys do anyway. Cheat. Man, I don't care what That's you say. That's not the way you treat a young lady. Now get up and let her sit down. Miss Perry, we was just playing. And that's the problem. You play too much. Life is serious. You know, you're going to appreciate me one day. The things I'm telling you. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know who Rosa Parks is? See, that's Miss Perry. She was everybody mama at the park. Always preaching and teaching and putting us in our place. But one thing for sure, everything she said has come to pass. I miss Miss Perry. And even though she went to heaven, she ain't never left me. I hear her voice every day. That's my angel. Rosa who? <laughs> That's another problem. You don't know your history. Rosa Parks. She was a strong black woman that defied all the odds against her when she didn't give up her seat to a white man on the bus, and it was even against the law. Miss Perry, you see, you confusing me. I'm black. You're black. I was sitting on the bench, and you told me to get up. You slow, ain't you, little boy? <laughs> That's not the moral of the story. Women have been changing history since the beginning of time, just like men. And relationships, my parents were together until they went to heaven. And nowadays, women, they feel like they don't need a man. Back then, black relationships were just the best because they didn't have all the opportunities that white folks had. And so they had each other, the need to survive. But now, women don't need men, so they think. And men are just little boys playing too much. See, we all wish to be in love and married to death do us part. But it's probably going to be hard for us. You know why? Because we date too many stereotypes. 
See, I am doing a study on the human experience. However, it's a multifaceted subject, but somebody got to do it. But maybe we should be more like lions. Think about it. The lioness goes out and hunt and bring the food back to the family. Oh, I know the ladies are going crazy right now because you think the man should be the breadwinner. But the moral of the story is, it's for the family to eat. And I know you laughing right now saying, what is a hippo doing in this movie? Well, men, I'm talking to you. A hippo is one of the most protective animals over their calves. Now you think a young man is gonna figure it out by himself and treat a woman like a queen? I doubt it. Maybe you should stay in this life a little longer and teach him how to be a good man. Now, this is the Black Widow. Ooh-wee. This is most women that you meet, mad, pissed off, and dangerous. You know why? Because they tired of giving their heart to the wrong person over and over again. But when the good guy come along, you know what she do? She murders him and it hurts him so bad it's a calamity and defiles his faith to ever want to love again. And the cycle continues and a player is born again. Well, it's about that time to go find out the real truth. See, I'm already late. Everybody has already arrived to my house for the truth circle dinner. And as you can hear, they already started without me. Why is it so hard for us to communicate? Will women ever submit, and will men ever step up and be committed? <laughs> See, my grandmother said to find an extraordinary person in this lifetime, it's like winning the lottery. What you're about to hear will challenge your perspective on love and relationships forever. Hey, hey, hey excuse me, hold up, please. Excuse me, excuse me, one second. Thank y'all so much for coming. How y'all doing tonight? Great, how are you? Good, they got good, us. Good, good. appreciate you being here, my brother. So, tonight is very special because everybody know I'm about to graduate and finally get these masters. Yeah. So I'm writing my thesis paper and I've been writing it for a while and I'm doing the human anatomy about men and women in Atlanta and why we can't get it right when it comes to love, relationships, and all the other things. Respect, honesty. And um, I picked this human anatomy for a reason. I think most people think that I picked it because, you know, for everybody else, but I really picked it for myself because I can't understand sometimes when I look in the mirror. I have a beautiful woman. She's amazing. She's attractive. She's smart. She's God-fearing. And she loves me from the deepest pathos of her heart. And I still can't get it right. Broken heart syndrome may be caused by the heart's reaction to a surge of stress hormones. Yeah, that would be me. I suffer from cardiomyopathy, a broken heart. I mess it up. I don't know. I think sometimes as a man, it's hard for us to love. It's hard for us to balance the feeling of being hurt. It's egotistical for us. There's certain things in our brain that we want to be and hurt is not one. And I think that's why women are so incredible because I feel like you have a rubber band hard. You can bend, but don't break. I was doing a lot of research and I was thinking, I was like, man, I don't think the things that they wrote about is the same in this environment, especially in Atlanta. And I, I was reading, it was like, it's the top six people that you meet. You meet the player and the cheater. Uh -huh. You meet the gold digger. I call her Miss Phipps Plaza. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> you meet the broken woman who yeah. sits around and take all the abuse from an insecure man yeah. that she shouldn't take. And then you also meet the good guy who could be sitting right in front of you, but he doesn't have all the intangibles that you think he should. I ain't found one yet. It's not that we don't see him, we just no, don't want him. <laughs> and the last two is a real man and a real woman. I say that's the hardest thing to become, but it's even, you're twice as lucky to find one dating in Atlanta. This is why we're having this conversation. I welcome you to my home because I want everybody to understand we're moving the rocks tonight. We're moving it. We're finding the secrets, we're finding the answers, we're finding the solutions, we're finding the problems, and we're gonna have real conversations. So, tonight is called the Truth Circle Dinner. We're gonna drink, we're gonna eat, and we're gonna talk. Tay Tay.
my first question is to you. Okay. I know you just moved in. How hard is it dating in Atlanta? I'm so damn tired of these dudes in Atlanta, Georgia. All they do is lie. They not honest. They want to just keep playing with your damn feelings. And then when you like the honest girl or the one who really want to get married and have kids and shit, they so quick to leave. See, that's Tay Tay. She really wants to be in a relationship. She is a hopeless romantic, but she suffers from autophobia, the fear of being alone. Like, they don't, they, if you're not willing to give that shit up instantly, they're ready to go. I've been here a year and a half, and I have yet to be able to date somebody. Like, we'll go on one date, then they want to, you want to Netflix and chill? Nope. Hell no. What y'all moved to Atlanta for? It's 15 to 1, plenty of women out here. It's our city. So if y'all ain't want to live here, y'all should have went somewhere else where there's more men. My boy Rob, he is everything that most women are looking for. Educated, tall, and rich, but he suffers from commitment. I'm a man. I love being a man. I love multiple women. Got plenty of money to blow. That's all y'all want anyway. Get all a few dollars. Make y'all happy. What? We gonna have fun. So y'all move to Oz, boy. What? Me, I made the wrong decision by moving to Georgia just because it's 15 to 1. There are good men out here, and I'm going to continue to believe that. I'm not going to let you mess Queen that Oz, up. You ain't got no man. I don't. You right. I ain't got no man because these dudes got here so far. Ain't shit. But there are some of them. But there is some fighting out here. Some of them are good. 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 Some of Profound though, you have guys that you've been dating that you don't know if they cheated on you or not, but the relationship didn't work and you're not happy with the relationships you was in. Is that correct? Right. You said, but they lied to you. You don't know if they cheated. Let me finish. But they lied to you. They did. Okay, so you you said to him, you know, hey, I don't want to date men like you, but he's saying, I'd rather tell you straight through the door what I am. Let me finish. Hold on, let me right. finish. No, whatever, creep. whatever you call it, jerk, creep, player, Scumbag. or honest, Coward. whatever. Because okay. it seems that for Thursday. men and women, we have a problem with understanding, honesty, and accepting the truth. Let me finish. It's called comfortable lies. We yeah. love to find comfort in a lie. Yeah. So yeah. you telling me which guy would, this is for you, Tay Tay, which guy would you rather have? Number one, A, a man who tells you everything you want to hear, but really malice in his heart and he's really lying, or a guy who's telling you the truth of what I am, who I am, and what I'm doing right now. Which one of those guys you would rather have? I'd rather have the truthful guy, but once he be truthful, I'm gonna leave. You may not. You may think that because they told you the truth and it may not be what you want that you're gonna leave. That's not true. It's not. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not. Because once you see that someone is actually being truthful with yeah. you, you're gonna respect that. Yeah, I would rather have somebody that's truthful to me than somebody that's lying to me right. at the end of the day. I can respect the truth okay. and the honesty mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. Now, why do, why do I respect that? Because that gives me the option to stay or to leave. Thank you. With a liar, okay. you don't know what you get. But right, I'd rather you be honest you with me choice. and tell me how you the are. But you know, right, right, let me know how you are. Don't sit here and tell me, oh, I'm this faithful, honest guy, but then you go cheat and you lying and you doing all this extra shit. Right, that's not that he's telling me. I don't even to get to conversations. When I meet you, I'm going to box you in, bottom line. It's nothing you can do, really. I'm going to make you feel like a, a beautiful oh, yeah. woman in the world, which you mm -hmm. might be. I'm going to bring you back to the crib. We're going to drink. We're going to have fun. We're going to turn up. I'm just going to put you in the position where you really can't do nothing. So at the end of the Wait. day, we're going to have fun. Making love, doing whatever we need to do. Well, <laughs> can, I, can I play, can so, I play devil's advocate just for a moment? Now, you can get these dudes that lie to yeah. you and lead you on, but yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth of the dough, so have it your way. Cortez, who do you think lie the most, men or women? I'm about to say men, you know what I'm saying? Because we protecting who we are, and depending on how we feel about the woman, we're going to cater to that feeling, you know what I'm saying? So, by us catering to that, we kind of building a storyline. See, it's almost impossible to have a conversation when one person is talking and the other person is not listening. But see, Cortez, he's a cool guy, but he suffers from being defensive. 
that we gotta remember who what we say. You know what I'm saying? Because again, like this is the this is the main person right here. This is home. This ain't no no hoe. This ain't no groupie. This ain't. This is home. So you can protect home. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like uh, for me, uh, man, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with it. See, they say the most common person you meet in Atlanta is a liar, the cheater, the player, whatever you like to call them. Case study number one. He is probably somebody every woman has dated. This guy, Reggie. Oh, he's one of the most best and greatest players you've ever met. Until today. Call me Mr. Ooh, yeah. You let to say ooh, yeah. Girl, you know you need love. Take them clothes off for me. You can ride on the pony. Up and down, don't you fall off. You gotta tell me when you're getting off. Okay. And I know, you know that I love it. What the fuck? Are you serious? Who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is she? Look. No, who the fuck is she? Just let me explain this. Is this what you mean when you say you have to work late? Huh? Do I look stupid to you? Just let me you know explain, what? I'm sick and tired of your shit. Maybe next time you turn the locations off on your phone. The locations on my phone? Yes. You gonna run up? No, you know what? Fuck that. How about no, I just no, 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 whoop no, no, your no, fucking no. ass? How about that for all the married women who have to deal with star bitches like just, you? Just calm Mary, down. Y'all are married. You're married. He just proposed to me. You did what? You proposed to her? Are you serious? What's wrong with you? Huh? I am spiritual. I am God-fearing. I am committed. I am successful and I am sexy as hell, and you have the nerve to be out here with this, this Becky? Are you for real? What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Yes. You what's wrong with me? It's your fucking fault I'm cheating. Excuse me? You're boring. We don't do shit anymore. We used to have fun. You used to be my best friend. But ever since we got married, it's the same old boring ass routine. Wake up in the morning, go to work, come home, cook, pray, same old routine. We have boring fucking sex. Oh, don't put my leg up. Don't pull my hair. Cut the lights out. I feel fat. All that bullshit. I'm tired of hearing it. You used to be my best friend. Now the only thing you got time for is the kids. You don't got time for me anymore. And you wonder why I'm out here cheating? Tell me something. What have you done for me lately? Huh? Only thing you care about is the fucking kids. I don't even care about all of this. We dated for a year and a half. You proposed to me in front of my entire family, and now you're saying you're married with kids? Get your ass in the car. I'll talk to you later. You know what? Y'all belong to each other. No. Y'all deserve each other. Everything that you asked of me, I've done for you. You've always had a hot meal on your table. I've always washed your dirty ass drawers. And you have the nerve to step to me about sex, about our kids? Our kids, are you serious? I can't believe you right now. I'm done. I refuse to lose my values and morals over some empty ass man. You can have them. Damn. You know what? You're all the same. Black, white, Hispanic, Asian. You're all fucking liars. Fuck you. You know, I was stupid enough to think that you were sent from God, but I was mistaken because the devil sends gifts too. Go back to hell. I guess she came back on me. All the things that I done. I guess she came back on me. I guess she came back on me. I guess she came back on me. Where is my knife? Cause. Let me tell you something. It would be smoke in the city if I found my man cheating on me like that. See, this is Ray. She is like superwoman. She do everything. Nowhere would a man fit in her life. Nowhere. She suffers from being overly independent. 
You got a second home. You, I had to put GPS on you to track your ass. Let me tell you something. Somebody called a black lady from First 48. Hoes get hit in the driveway <laughs> on the other side of the town, <laughs> in the woods, wherever you can take them at. I ain't spent none of our money in no hotels. But you got she a second house that, I, that so I don't know about. That's respectable that's cheese. No, it's not. That's disrespectful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is disrespectful? A disrespectful tell, cheater tell, tell. is the man who cheats on you in public, have girls taking pictures, Instagram, and letting he knows he has a girl, but letting a girl disrespect you. A respectful cheater will let the set side chick know that, yo, I have a chick. This is what you can and this is what you cannot do because I love my lady. Candy, candy, candy. See, her relationships let her down so much, trusting a man is out the question. See, she suffers from philophobia, the fear of falling in love. That's a respectful cheater. I'd rather a respectful cheater than a disrespectful cheater. A respectful cheater uses a condom. A disrespectful cheater doesn't. It's levels to this. It's levels, levels. to the cheating. I feel like a relationship is just like a job. If you don't do your job at work, they're going to do what? Fire your Exactly. Ass. And they're going to do what? <laughs> replace, replace you. Replace so you. So that's what I do. Everything is an opportunity. It's just like a job. Because first of all, you have to think about the levels of cheating. There's different levels of cheating. It's not just physical. There's mental. There's physical. There's now with technology, we have texting. We got inboxing, DM, everything. So anytime you're entertaining any some and anybody else other than your mate, you're cheating to me personally. Excuse because me. let me ask you something. Yes. Hold on. Um, one second. Have you ever cheated? Yes. I had, a, I had a whole three-way triangle of cheating Damn. for Damn. years. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Really? Tell had, us about it. Hold on. I had literally. Um, I was in a relationship with a young lady. For seven years. Yes, I was with a woman for seven years. Right. Girl. No, I was with a woman for seven years. And alongside that, um, she was pissing me off and we had some issues. So then I had another I had another gentleman. You know, when I got pissed off with the second gentleman, I had another man. Control. See, that's Aisha favorite song. She never wants to follow. She suffers from being a control freak. Listen. It's okay to let your man lead sometimes. And when there's something you're not getting in the home, you're going somewhere else and getting it. So, question, ladies. If you had a man that was super attractive, made love to you well, kissed you where you wanted to be kissed, satisfied you all the way you want to be satisfied, super rich, told you everything you wanted to hear, but he only had one problem. He loved to cheat. Would you stay? Or would you leave? If a man cheats on me, I feel like he don't love me. So I'm not oh, saying. Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, right. okay, 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 so let me just say this. Let me just, right. We got all them qualities. Right. right. But let me just say this. Let me just say this. Not only that, I'm just going to say that just because a man cheats doesn't mean he doesn't love you. This man could smash 20 chicks and mean, and they none of them mean nothing, but you can mean the world to him. I, I don't agree that, oh, they just out here smashing all these females. No, if I was that important to him and he wanted to keep me, mm -hmm. he would not do something that he knows is going to devastate me. Right. I'm and not I saying it's right. I don't agree with that. I don't care about what technology, I don't care about none of that. Right. I'm not saying it's I right, but care. that's just the way it is, honey. Like, that's, no, the, that's the way men like have that. been since but the it's beginning not like of time. Every man. But men have been that way since, no, men have been that way since the beginning of time. Saying, there is some out here that's not like that. It, it, every man does Until not they're cheat. put in that situation. Wait, 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 wait. Let, let's, let's, let's get to something. So you say you're going to leave. And that's, it sounds good. But the truth of the matter is he got money. He's giving it to you right. So there are some things that you're going to eventually. I'm not saying it's right on his side or your side. But I've heard this story before. And the truth of the matter is, if there's stability in the situation, you're going to put up with more than you would mm -hmm. would if there was instability the in the situation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because a man, this is the truth, because you're wired to, to be attracted to a certain level of stability. Mm -hmm. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And so that, that wiring goes into the decision making. That's why if mm -hmm. there is an option between a pickup truck and a Lamborghini, you're going to pick the Lamborghini because the Lamborghini says something about stability. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say anything mm -hmm. about character. D.C., a real politician, he loves to debate the facts. He says he's a one-woman man, and he does not cheat. But ladies, I'm sorry to tell you, he still suffers from being over-analytical. It's crazy that they say 88% of women 
will take money over love. Um, love don't pay the bills. So if my man's gonna cheat, either I'm joining in or I'm coaching. So I mean, <laughs> I mean I, that's just how it's gonna work. Hold on. So he- elaborate. You know that sounds Meaning, real good to us. We'll joining in is we all gonna do it together. Coach, I'm like, yeah, baby. Fuck her real good because at the end of the day, if she got she got some bread. She gonna come back and give it to us, and you know we're gonna reap the benefits. So is it that's her or him? Goes. Is it her or him who got the bread? It could be both, and she just. Giving but you're not more. fucking her though. You fucking him. I could be doing them both. It doesn't matter if that's what I'm into and if that's what I want at the time. That's so what I'm going to he do. is right. He is right. He, he, he might be right. No, it's not might. He is right. Okay, <laughs> it's whatever my man it's wants. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do whatever my man wants to keep him happy. And if that's what he wants, that's what I'm gonna because do. Because he has the money. I mean, cause yeah, cause I'm money. not fucking with no dude that don't have no money. The, the, the biggest thing is, like he stated before, stability is number one. If a man is bringing in money, you are more likely to stay because yes. you don't want to yes. put up with somebody broke. Even mm. if you have your own money, you don't want to put up Hell with somebody no. broke. You'd rather Jeez. have that you guy to to the who table. has that, that money. About that though. Um, yeah. You know, but a lot of women are different. A lot of women are cut differently. So I feel like I'm the cream of the crop. At the end of the day, I'm going to work. I'm going to twerk, I'm going to cook, I'm going to clean, I'm going to do everything that it takes to keep my guy happy. That's all I've been saying. I'm glad y'all finally agreeing with me. Basically, you'll let me go for a week, then you need that, that you just start that itch, I'm going to come scratch it. You need that bill that's due, I might come pay it. At the end of the day, we're just going to get more passes. The girls that like the popping dudes, that's what they rather mess with. They not messing with no lame dude that can't do nothing for them. Bottom line, that's what they want, so they gonna tolerate a little bit more. It's just funny because like, so let's say ladies, I'm, I'm gonna address you guys, you know, if I could for a minute. Is that possible? Mm-hmm. Can you possibly date a good man who happens to live at home with his mom and he's in between, you know, situations right now financially, but he is a great, guy. My best friend, Jock. See, I've been knowing this guy all my life. And he had a real good woman. But it was so hard for her to find his heart because his ego was in the way. See, he suffers from being egotistical. I'll answer that. I can pop my own bottles by my own section. So if you can't match what I can match, then I don't need you. Maybe you're in in that in-between stage. At this point in my life, I don't need a man that's at that stage because I've been through that. I've been with a man at that stage. I'm way past that. I have more than that. So at this point, what else can you, if you live with your mama, there's nothing you can do for me. me, Hold on, let me pick it back off her. So here's what I think she's saying. And I could be wrong, but I feel like what she's saying, because I feel the same way, is that women want a man that can bring something to the table. Mm -hmm. Because what I personally feel, and I'm not speaking for all these ladies here, but I feel that I am the table. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So when I be in the I am this table, you need to be the legs of this table to hold me up. So if you living at home with your mother, you can't do that for me. Time out. So here we go. You speak of this table that you already have. Mm -hmm. So you already got everything you need, but you missing them legs. Correct. Now, now, yeah, women are always talking about how they want a good man. They want somebody by their side. They want a supporter. They want that that backbone. They want that structure. They want that firmness. You see how I said that? That <laughs> firmness. Mm. But see, you're so caught up in the fact that he's living with his mama that you can't see the goodness in his heart, the the the, the pureness of his. No, but 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 see, what you caught up in is somebody who could pull up with a Benz like your Benz. No, 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 no. What you caught up in, sister, is somebody who got a key to a house that match your house. See, now y'all gotta figure out who house go, who gonna sell what house. What we, what we, gonna, we gonna live in this house, we gonna rent that. See, that's a problem. But it's a good problem, but I ain't saying it ain't a bad problem, but I'm just saying, you can't deal with the fact that you got yourself together and here's a man who's in the midst of getting himself back or just getting himself together. You don't want that. In my research, I have analyzed what happened when two desirable characteristics, financial stability versus altruism, were investigated together. And I am curious as whether women prefer one quality over the other. My next case study, number two. Oh, he could be the man of your dreams. Everything that you dream about and desire. 
your Superman. He could be sitting right across from you at this table, but you just can't see him. No, love ain't better than sex, 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 S-C-X, 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 S-C-X. satisfy you like the queen you are. What are you talking about? You're not here to satisfy me. Me and you both know that's gonna take forever. So please, can you let me go to sleep so I can get to work in the morning? I'm just tired. Who am I? I'm Clark Kent. That's who I am. Sometimes I wish that it could be more, but for some strange reason, that never happens to me. I always get the kind of women that go after the popular guys, the guys with the money, the guys with the cars. But after they feel hurt and used up and want to try something different, I'm that safe bet. But maybe I should change. Yeah. Maybe I should be the one who's mean, disrespectful, tells you lies, cheats. Because yeah, that's what you used to. More importantly, that's what you like. Women usually, you know, they talking about what they want, you know, and how they, you know, my man got to be on this or that because I ain't with the mm and the ah. But you know what? Half of the chicks who want don't even bring what they want to the table. You're That's right. right. You can't, you can't be like, oh, my dude got to be something I foreign, and you riding around here in a, a little domestic bucket. You can't be riding here in a little old ass goddamn '83 Mustang. Okay, talking about, talking about you want a man with a about, 2018 about, Bentley. So yes, yeah, so a woman can have a beat up car, and he has a Mercedes, and we're gonna choose him. And he may, he's forgiving. Men are forgiving when it comes to that. They would choose a woman with nothing if she treats him right. So you should have a man that adds to your value as a woman, that can teach you, that can better you in your businesses. But y'all do that with well, women's ass. Listen, but listen, but what I'm saying to you is y'all judge that's too many people off of That's what we say. The, but listen, listen, because a man that got a, a fancy car don't mean shit. He might be renting that. He might don't own it. It's not an asset. Know the difference between liabilities and assets. Mm -hmm. Liabilities is a lot of shit people out here faking, they don't own nothing. Right. They got this and they got that, but they can't pay for it We're the next week. Assets. So you got men that could be broke in, in a month. So that's why you go out to people with great mindsets because they are always going to be rich. I don't need that <laughs> at this age. I need you bringing something to the table. See, what I possess is invisible to a woman like you. Loyalty, commitment, trust, a willingness to serve you like you've never been served before. I massage you from head to toe. I cook you dinner. I run your bath even when you don't want to. I serve you. And my love making skills? Let's just say God blessed me dearly in that department. See, ladies, this is what I'm talking about. She has a good man. Just because he broke doesn't mean he's not the right one for you. See, love comes in all types of colors you can't recognize. And packages? You wouldn't imagine. I'm just saying. Beverly, wake up, baby. Mm. We need to talk. What? Wake up. I'm trying to sleep, please. Baby, why you act like everything that I do gets on your nerves, like, like it's a, a task for you to make love to me? No, I'm Come not on. acting. I do have a job, you don't. While I'm sitting up here supporting your quote unquote dreams, I'm giving you gas money, I'm feeding you, I'm clothing you. Fuck these flowers, fuck all of this shit. The flowers, the cars, romantic picnics on the park, what good is that gonna do for me? I'm a grown ass woman and I need a grown ass man to pay some bills around here. Now if you don't understand that, please let me know when you decide to do that. The walks in the park, 
the cars. I pay attention to detail. Nah, bruh, it's the bigger things. You know what, Beverly? You can keep it then. I'm done. I'm done too. That's fine. Go. Leave. Fine. Be done. Don't nobody want you anyway. What a lie. Fine. This is why this is my man. It could be any man that I want it to be with no complaints, no walking off, none of that. I could sit here and it can just please me like I want to. And guess what? I wake up happy. I could just breathe. I'm tired of him just spooning me. I'm tired of doing everything with him. I'm just happy he left. Cause now, just let me breathe. Love ain't better than sex, 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 All I'm saying is this. Flowers, candies, roses, all that is cool. When we were 16, we're adults now. The money you used to buy that, Put it into a bill or something. Flip a mattress or something. I need you bringing something to the table other than penis and roses. I have a technical question for you. Did I? Oh, a technical? Yes. Did I meet this man living with his mother, or what? Is it something that you know happened after what we were together? Hell, that I don't know. You tell me. You if create I meet the scenario. Him and things happen Shit. that way. Then yes, I will stick with him. But if that's how you know, if he's already he has his stuff together and he failed, he has to live with his mother. I'm there. But. If he's, I, I can't say that I'll be with a man at my age that don't have his stuff together. See, this is Sheba. She is educated, opinionated, and she is a strong black woman, but she suffers from being loquacious. It's funny that Sheba said that, because it's like, you know, if I met him and he got down on his knees and had to go stay with his mom, okay, well, if I met him and he was already down on bending knee, I wouldn't get with him. What if he was just going through a divorce? But that's enough for that. So, Tay Tay, I got a question for you. So, is it? like etched in stone, that you cannot date a man who is not up to par financially? I can date a man that's not up to par financially because just because he's not there right now doesn't mean that he can't get there. Like, oh. maybe he's just going through something right now. Girl, you got a sweetheart. So, <laughs> <laughs> you going to go far in life. Don't make her feel bad about the situation. I'm serious, but I just feel like if he's just going through something, I might miss my blessing because I'm cutting him off because he's She's not there yet. Gym. It's sort of like a guy. He's not going to talk to a girl. Sometimes she doesn't have a fat ass. A girl can be ugly as shit. I've been, I, I've been called ugly before, and it's okay because I know I'm a bad bitch. But I've been because I have an ass that was so-called giving up ass. And that's how it is with guys with money. Unfortunately, yes. Mm -hmm. So, is, so it, is, that, is that the, the way you? Different. Is that, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Is it that why? Is that is it why you act the way you act? Now? How do I act the way I act? Because you're materialistic now. I'm not materialistic. You don't Everything see it. I got, you don't see it. I paid for but myself. But you see a man with no money that label a woman as exactly. No, it's, it's not about if that. You, need the you just heard her broken story. Cases. No, but so she's damaged. Damage. I'm not damaged. I'm not damaged right now. She don't trust men. Unfortunately, since the beginning of time, a man, a woman seeks security. This is what we want. Mm -hmm. So in our genetic makeup, we want someone who can take her. So technically, we can have the babies, even though that's not what we're necessarily doing, and we take care of him. Women are always talking about how they want this type of dude, and, and, and a, a woman is supposed to submit. A woman is supposed to make sure that she, you know, follows her man. But then you got women at the table who are not willing to follow a man if he doesn't have a certain level of success, as we spoke of, the mindset, and it's about a, a monetary gain of value. If he doesn't have that, she can't follow him because she doesn't see where he's been successful. Y'all can't see that, but we can. You know what I'm saying? Here's where, here's where the, here's where them fooling us come into play. A man, fooling, fooling. Know, listen, a man like to, let's say showboat things. You don't? Because in, listen. Do you have on a butt pad right now? No, I don't. Okay. But, um, <laughs> a man. Cause girls be doing it. Wait, you got a man, man, right now. I do. Okay. So that's a facade. That's a facade. Cause when well, you take me, that shirt, you're, you're freaking on the illusion right now. I, you, I, you just jumping in and you ain't even chiming in. No, because I'm just what saying. What I'm saying like, is you, you a man will, like a, a man will, my, my grip wrists are actually hold on, hold on. awfully huge. Go ahead, so it's go ahead, nice. no, go ahead, okay, so we have to be able to decipher the difference. As a woman, we're not putting in, I agree with you, what we need to put in to secure that successful man. We need to be able to take care of him as he take care of us. Hold on, hold on, but some women are. Hold on, wait a second. Let me let me respond to you because you, you spoke to me earlier. Hold on to Like that. what she just said to piggyback off her, 
Well, as women, we've been taught since little girls that you know, a man is going to take care of you, a man is going to provide, a man is going to bring home the bacon. So that's why I spoke about tradition. Right. We have been taught that a man is supposed to be a man regardless of what we do. So which means we could be have nothing, and y'all are still supposed to be the ones that uplift us. Again, it's being the legs of a damn table. I mean, I hear you, but at the same time, what are you bringing to the table on the other side of that? Are you cooking? Are you cleaning? But not just that. Is it something else that you're mentally, emotionally bringing to the table? I mean, you all want success. But let's understand, traditionally, you're not taught to look for success the way you're looking at it. Because what you have now is a whole generation of people have seen videos. Mm -hmm. They've seen basketball hey, stars. They've seen football, uh, mm -hmm. football players. And so the elevation in your mind is taken to another level. Right. So a regular dude, whomever that dude may be, has to live on the... On the on the level of a pro ball player for you all to, hey, pause, pause, pause. to see success when success cannot be measured if you're measuring uh, Michael to Michael Jordan. To your point, my father is a professional basketball player. But with that being said, I'm still very submissive. I cook, I clean. I don't care what time of night it is that my man gets home. If he wants sex, I'm, I'm waking up at 3 in the my morning. God. If he want to eat, I'm what, I, whatever it is that he wants. So because I'm asking you to be successful, I'm also gonna be successful in this relationship, right. honey. That's you right, ain't gonna baby. need no side chicks. Lord. Cause this, so I'm gonna be all the chicks. That's I'm gonna right. have wigs, weed, That's whatever right, you need. I'll slide down a pole. I'll do what's necessary oh. for my man. Oh. Okay, I don't really about, care. Time, time but time at time the end time of the time day, time wait, wait, wait. But time out though, cause I'm <laughs> sliding. I'm sliding on that finger. What's up? Yes, honey, I will. Do all that. Yes. And brothers, I gotta say this. You know, we gonna fellowship one time, and Mike, you know how this goes. Hey, man, ain't nothing like having a woman you want that bad when you be like, you know what, I did go to cheaper. I did buy her little $175 bag. But do I supposed to go spend $7,000 or $15,000 on a bag? What if my girl ain't even got $7,000 to put in her $7,000 bag? That's, is that wrong, bro? It's real wrong. It's when real. I tell you a girl call me straight from sex, I'm like, hello? She like, Baby, what's your credit card number? Box show this ain't text. What? She like, the lady from it. Saks needs your credit card number. Hold on, give it to her right quick. I say, hello? <laughs> um, yeah, she's trying to purchase some red bottoms, $15.50. I said, no, nah, put her back on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what type of thirsty stuff is it? You calling for my credit card number from Saks? Putting the lady on the phone? She said, fool, I ain't never thirsty. I got 30 pair of red bottoms. I say, but you just gonna call me in the middle of the day for 15 50 for some red bottom. Girl, back. Hung up. She came up to the barber shop, found me. I was getting my little line in front of me, off in front of everybody. I say, boy, if you don't give me this 15 50 basically, like, I'm off you. I said, well, you could be off me, man. Hey, do y'all, like, have homegirls that y'all have to just be like, girl, chill out? Because they, like, super gold diggers. I'm talking about, like, girl, yeah. I ain't, mm -mm. We can't go over that girl. They got one bottle at the table. Mm -mm. Yes. Y'all do that? <laughs> For real? And do I know her? Do I know her both? I, I you think know I... my best friend. She's all about the check. She's all about the first day she meet a guy. She is Miss Phipps Platt. Is she bad, though? She is like a woman's woman. She, gonna, she got the makeup. She going to dress. She got the ass. She got the tits. And she's gonna give up the nappy dugout, which you guys well, love. Well, a jackpot. But I mean, I mean, okay, she gonna give up the nappy dug out because man, we want that. We definitely, I, I don't even. That's I'm, the whole point. That's I why mean, I but let me ask you something though. So you said she got the ass and tits, but is all that real though? She got the whole fantasy, and it doesn't matter if it's real. You're right. Or I mean, this is not. At the end of the day, it, it's ass and tits. So to the gold diggers, do I have to spend a little money first before I can have sex with you? You damn right. That's the whole goal. You know I gotta let you go. You know I gotta let you go. It's open. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 Hey, boo. Okay, okay, that's enough. Oh. Girl. Look at her. Look, look good, you girl. Grow up. Girl, them heels spread. Let me find out you be riding a hunchin'. She got a little thick. Girl, girl. you see, got tennis sitting all up. Look at you. Big hey. in town, in Atlanta, hey. turn up. Hey. This is just, you finally made it to the A, but what the hell? I mean, it's small, but I mean, it's home. Bitch, are you kidding me? I ain't never lived like this before. I just moved to Atlanta. I'm still settling in. Give me some time. Some time? Oh, hell no. Scoot over. Oh, damn. Girl, what didn't happen to your damn cabinets, girl? Did your house catch on fire? Let me find out you can't cook. 
Um, it was actually like that when I moved in. And you still moved in? I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother you, girl. You should have moved out. We don't live like this. Girl, you didn't bump your head. Oh, um, hell no. Oh, I can't. I can't. Get your friend. Oh, my God. What? Where the hell is your TV? Oh, hell. I don't have TV. I read books. Girl, you've been reading this same doggone book since 10th grade. You ain't fooling nobody. That's some read damn bullshit and you know it. Now, we done all been broke before. Stop trying to flex on us. What's really going on with you? Look, you guys know I had to leave Detroit, and I left everything behind. What I thought was my man, my home, everything. He crushed me, and he had the audacity to kick me out and then move in some boy who I guess is now his boyfriend. I had to start all the way over. Did she just say, girl, I can't. I can't right now. I told you, I told you this before you even moved to Detroit that he wasn't no good. See, <sighs> men ain't shit. Men ain't shit. That's the reason why I left mine. Same reason why I left mine. They only good for two things, and that's for paying your bills and freaking goddamn giving you some good head. That's about it. See, with a nice body like yours, your pocket should never be empty. I told you that. Living in Atlanta, Georgia. Don't be too excited about dating. This next young lady is plotting on your wallet every chance she gets. She likes to find the things in life, but she wants you to pay for them. When I tell you this girl comes with a lot of baggage, Gucci, Louis, Birkin, Fendi, and the list goes on and on and on. Without further ado, I would like to introduce to you case study number three, Miss Phipps Plaza. You gotta let these men do what they do best. And what exactly is that? Pay. I mean, pay your rent. Pay your house note. Should have bought a hundred, but I bought a Chevy. Hey, man. Pay yes, your car. Hey, they they gotta Lord. pay your yes, rent. Lord. When you wanna go to Phil's Plaza on a Sunday and they close at seven, but your dad ain't. You yes. gotta say Big Daddy or Baby or Boo or Honey, or sugar, can I get some cash for this ass? Can I get a little money for this honey? And see if you stay focused. That's how you're real and mean. You got to know what you want. I understand that you're a hot mess, but I went to school for this, to take care of myself. You went to school. Can you please spare us? Please, girl. I went to school too. I graduated at the top of my class. I was Africana Kulabi. 7.8 GPA in this thing. All on a class since first grade. Are you kidding me? Did you not see me walk across stage with my purple ribbon I had on? See? But I gotta tell her. I gotta tell her with the truth. You want the truth? Atlanta men are easy. They're simple, baby. All they want is new ass. Mm. They want their ego struck. They want you to make them feel like they so important. I'm gonna get you all the way together. Snatched and tight. Lean in. Lean in, see? Tonight is the night that we take over. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is how it's about to go down. I'm a pretty girl, I'm gonna put some money in your bank. I'm a pretty girl, I'm gonna put some money in your bank. I'm, I'm a pretty girl, I'm gonna put some money in your bank. I'm a pretty girl, I'm gonna put some money in your bank. See, we gonna go out tonight. We're gonna get our own section in VIP. We're gonna buy our own bottles because we bosses. And guess what? No lames allowed. And then we're gonna sit there and we're gonna watch and we're gonna throw our reel out. We're gonna reel them on back in. Throw another one out and reel them on back in until we catch a big wheel. And we catch that big wheel like this. We're gonna pull them in. Girls gonna change your whole life. Oh my God, I see it. And see, men love women with money. I mean, they're always, and I mean, always looking for the baddest chicks in the club. And that's not hard with us. Listen, girl, they come running in just like they real out there out there. You just bring them in. Stop. Stop. Because it's the game. It's all in here. So, I thought we were just going out to the club to have fun. Girl, who said we wasn't? Going to the club to find a man with some money is a real good time. You lost your money. Get them coins, girl. Now, put this little ugly book up. Put your little shoes on. Let's get it. I, I, I just spent too much time on my hair and these nails. Where, where you the ugly cheap shoes at? We need to take her to the That's where she need to go. You ain't never been to Flips before? 
So I think every woman is a gold digger. And I think every woman is a prostitute to a certain degree because of the fact that no woman is sleeping with a man for free. No one. But that doesn't make you a prostitute. Like, because you meet a man, you go out, he take you to dinner, that does not make you a prostitute. Uh, no pun intended, but it's always the woman that's the prostitute that could, that like to categorize every woman like themselves. So, I mean, to me, there's different type of women. So wait, did yeah. you just call her a prostitute? Right, right. No, but- But they, she kind of called herself a prostitute like they, I guess everyone categorized them as gold diggers or whatever, but at the end of the day, we're all the same. No, we are, not. yes we are, because you're, you're not, not sleeping same. with a man for free. Every woman is not the same, just because a woman would, a prostitute literally is someone who would sell her ass for money. I'm not doing that. Yes, I want a man to have his own, be able to hold his own, take me to dinner, but that does not make me a prostitute. First off, I think I think you're again you're misappropriating her definition to an exact science. Right. But the truth of the matter is earlier His when you said smart, by the way. He's smart. when you said that you wouldn't date a man that was in his mother's house or basement, what you basically said is that man with nothing can't have me. So the man mm -hmm. with something, you're trading that something for your mind, emotions, and body. Exactly. So yeah, i.e. You are a prostitute. No, I am yes. not a prostitute. Uh, church, that's yes. not. That's no, no, no. It's freaking death. Yes, it is. It's not. And it's not, so it's not a defensive you way. It's not like it's truly bad. But the English language is for a reason. There are different words to be used in different ways. Prostitute is simply a prostitute. No. I am not. No. No. Ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 I love where y'all are going, but there's a difference. Mm -hmm. There's a prostitute and a costitute. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the, the, no, listen, you you the type of woman that's like, you know what, I'm not a prostitute because I'm not going to professionally toot this ass up for you. But, <laughs> yeah, but it's going to cost you something for me to toot this ass up. You're a costitute. Most women th see themselves as costitutes because it's going to cost you something. She's going to need something. There's some form of reciprocation, if I may say this, and I, this is one of the most intellectual moments of my life. I don't even know where this voice is coming from. <laughs> but this shit is working so perfectly right now, you know what I'm saying? So I feel you both, and I understand. I just want y'all to know that I love y'all dealing with you a prostitute or a costume. <laughs> and I think that black women are more criticized because of what we look for in a man, but white women, they breed their little girls to marry rich. They, yes, they do. They breed them to so go when we do it, husband. We're gold diggers. Right. But when they do it, it's OK. Exactly. And I think it's a double standard, and I don't think it's right at all. Here's the thing. I went to college, and I went to a white college. And one thing I've learned in living in a white community that white women are taught young to go to college and meet their husbands to take care of their men. That's what they go to school to do. We're taught to get a good job and take care of our homes. Forget about the man. And so I learned a little of both. For, and for me, I have to. For me, I would take care of my man as well as work. But I prefer to stay home and give him everything he needs. He take care of me while I take care of him. I have mm -hmm. two degrees. I have my MBA. So if I go out and look for a guy with with the standards that I'm, you know, looking for or what I have, I'm a gold digger. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Why is it okay for even a white woman with no degree? These are the standards we put on ourselves as black people. If you were dating white men, that wouldn't exist. I think you would marry him. Me, right? No, what I'm saying is that if you were dating, if you you're, if you were searching for a white man, then you would be searching for a man to support you and you support him because that's how they see their women. A, a white man expects for his woman to do certain things like take care of him and all that. Well, you're dating black men, and that makes a difference. 72% of the black household is raised by the black woman alone. So the standards are different. So I, I, I'm glad you said that. You make a good point. So, but, but I want to know, I want to hear you say this. Are you saying that like white men treat black women better than black men treat black women? What I am saying is that because of uh, society and how we're raised that in a lot of cases they can, yes. Absolutely, they have more respect and how they treat the women. The way we look at our women today is how we're raised. You, the black women oftentimes curse their children out and all that because they're not taught to do anything different. But with white men, their parents are just a little different with them. And the way they respect their mothers is different. And this is just my experience. I've dated multiple white men. I've dated black men. And the way I was treated just per capita between both, it was better by a white men. That is the most negligent and ignorant thing I've heard tonight because my best friend in uh, junior high school was white. He cussed out his mother on the regular. You're speaking about one no, individual. No, pause, let me finish. One individual. <laughs> Sweetie, I've been around white people. Some of my best friends are white. Do not d depict your life or my life. You don't know who I know. She said where. she was going for her experience. But yeah. I'm telling you, her experience is super atypical. 
Because guess no, what? The major the majority of people that live in America are white. Mm -hmm. The majority of people in poverty are white. Well, can you, I say pause something? again. Mm -hmm. So your your one story is super super atypical. I have more, multiple stories. I understand that, but I I'm telling you that you're you you cannot speak for everybody ar around the nation or in, in or in this room. And I am not. I'm no. telling you, statistically, you're wrong. How and you so, as I move forward, I'm saying that a, a white man, no offense to any of my friends, can never, can never treat a black woman the same way I would treat her because they don't understand where she come from. I and didn't then say second, same. I said better, two be different things. Better the same, nothing. Because let me tell you why the, st the statistics are the way they are. Because when the women empowerment movement came about, <laughs> It was funded to destroy the family. Mm. These are facts. It didn't just destroy, don't talk. These are facts. It came to destroy the family, and in particular, the black family. And then not only that, if a woman has a baby in America, if she gets welfare or whatever that is, she has to, it's in the contract. No husband or no, excuse me, no, uh, the father cannot be in the home. So this has happened for, this has happened for 30 years. So the mindset of the black man against the white man has changed because the government and other entities. I don't, I do not you, disagree with you. You're not you, saying anything I don't disagree with. And you can't disagree with yeah, it because but, it's facts. But the fact of the matter is you're wrong when you say that a black, a white one, a white man can treat a black woman better when I understand your history, what you came from, where we've been, and where we're going, period. I do not disagree with you. The reason why they can treat us better, because they have, they are in this country, they control everything. And the reason why black men don't is because of the way we were taught, conditioned. I agree with you. But the fact is, they simply can't because of that. We're affected by the things that you mentioned, and I agree with you on that. But it's a direct... It's a direct derivative of what is happening today, why they treat, can treat us better. We don't respect our women the way they respect theirs. No, Just a simple that's fact. Not true. See, it's crazy. Everybody at this table, well, all the ladies, you guys have different opinions about what you guys want. I want to be in love. Mm -hmm. I want to have a family. I want to get married. And it's just like being here, it's the hardest thing ever. Like, it's the biggest struggle. And it's sad because I'm starting to get to a point where I'm like, okay, either I'm going to have to move out of Georgia or it may not happen for me at all. And both of those really suck. At this point in my life, I'm. I'm not interested in loving again because my heart has been broken. Every time I cared, I've had a guy poop on me, for lack of better terms, okay? So I don't need a heart. At this point in my life, I need my career, I need my funds. God is very important. A heart, I mean, I have my heart for my family, but for God, I just don't have it. I don't have the time. Coming home, seeing, you know, someone that you love in the bed with another guy, her ex, and I felt like I could never love again. And first of all, as a man, I don't even want to love anyway. I want to love my son. I want to love God. I want to love my family. I don't want to love a woman because I feel like giving you my heart and you taking advantage of it is too easy for you, especially if I pick wrong. You know, it's crazy to me because most women can love again over and over again. I say they have rubber band hearts. They can try it all over and over again, but you, it's a little different. Man. I don't. I don't. I can't. I, I don't think I will. And it's sad. I want to. But at this point in my life, I don't think I will ever. I don't even think I'll get married. Oh, no. So, the last relationship was that bad? It was very bad. Tell me about it. I was dating a guy. I won't mention his name. Um, you know, he, he was very established. You know, we, you know, knew each other for a long time. We were friends before anything. I believe in building a friendship before, you know, we take it to that level. Um, I had did a video for someone, I forget who it was, came home, me and my makeup artist, mm -hmm. and he's banging another guy. What? What? Oh my God. Whoa. And he never came off as being homosexual to me. If that's what your preference is, fine. But if you're gonna be banging another dude, you need to let me know. Because first of all, you're, you're, you're messing with my health. You're messing with my mental. And I'm low-key ain't all the way there. So I go to the car to go get the gun because I have a strap on me at all times because I'm a single female. And I really, I, I went in the house, took the gun, and I pointed at him. 
And I'm like, I should take you, both you and this little sissy out right now, because you should have told me. It's not the point that you're banging him, the point that you led me on to believe that you love me and care about me, but you got this man bent over, banging the shit out of him. So at this point in my life, I just, I don't trust anybody. I'm hurt. And so I think every man I meet is gay. Okay, this is my thing. I hear the sincerity in what you're saying, but I hear a lot of flack with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with me, I date who I want to date. I date a woman, I date a man, I do what I want to do. Hey. At the end of the day, I'm still a man. I still got a career. I'm still successful. Nothing is stopping me. You know what I'm saying? This is my thing with you. I feel like you kind of offended me when you said that you found your man banging another man or whatever, and he could have brought you disease and that. Stop that shit. What you do know you mean saying? stop? He could I have. Feel, I, feel, I feel like. If he was unprotected, that's, that's another, he could have. But this, this is the thing. Like, with women, you make it hard for men to tell you the truth. No. Listen to what I'm saying. You make it hard to tell the truth because you see how you so judgmental right now? I'm not judgmental. Listen to what I'm saying, sweetheart. You're very judgmental. You basically called out all the characteristics of a gay man that you have not, you know nothing about. Do you do you sleep with other men? Do I sleep? Of course, I said that. So you don't I feel sleep, like I, you I, absolutely. So that I'm you don't feel lie. like like you're gay. You don't want to be put in a box, basically. Exactly. Is what I feel like right now in the society, the way things is being displayed, gay men is very colorful, very flamboyant, tight jeans, real gay and woo woo. Now, you can't be mad that you was attracted to a man who acts like a man. You know what I'm saying? There's people like me who carry themselves like a man and still do things, manly things. We not flamboyant. We're not, we don't do colorful shit. You get what I'm saying? You just put me in a box. I did not put you in a box. I'm telling you what he tried to holler at me. When he approached me, at that point in time, he should have let me know what he had going on, what he liked, then let me decide if I was going to be okay with that. So, my question to you is, why is it cool for women to eat another woman's box, mm -hmm. kiss, dance, flirt, and do all of those things, threesomes with their boyfriends and all of that, mm -hmm. but when a man do it, it's look down on, it's look like, oh, it's a you, I you really mess up a man at this point. And I feel like the reason that it's look down upon for men is because ultimately when you say the word man that's just it you're supposed to be the strong providing right. um you know so you're supposed to be a man but, but see you didn't you didn't, you didn't understand but earlier though i said yo that a man still acts like a man i only got defensive because lately now all you hear is Yo, gay black men is down low. I don't even know what I got something to say. I'm, I kind of got some questions, man. Damn. You know, no offense, man, but my gay lord didn't pick you up, bro. I didn't see the, I didn't see it, man. I'm just like, damn. And it's so crazy because I'm sitting here, I never would have guessed. Nothing against you, bro. You know, hey, man, you know, it's your life, it's your preference. And I just, it's been so many times that I just wanted to ask, like, 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 how you just, like, how you go there, bro? I, I grew up with my mother. I didn't have a father in my life, so okay. I always saw what my mother did and how my mother reacted to men and whatever like that. So I kind of picked up that characteristic. You get what I'm saying? So as I'm picking up that characteristics, I'm still over here kind of like, I was attracted to her when I walked in. Me and her, like, we was connecting. You oh, know what I'm Lord. I'm so glad that that didn't happen because we'd have been sending this poor baby back to Indiana. <laughs> so oh, I can tell you. you. <laughs> Super hard broken. <laughs> Beyond yeah. broken, though. Yeah. Can I say something? You said I didn't give him an opportunity. We were together for two years. And I don't want you to feel offended because of what I said. I said it in general because having sex with anybody that's not your spouse, you have a risk of getting a, an a STD. Say not because thing. you're gay. No, and, and I can say how you I want to say it. Uh, because you, I didn't you even know you. You could have offended a lot of community and you don't even know. It's not. You know do, what I'm saying? Do, do so just be careful table, what you say. The table felt that I, saw, that I said it in a way. Both of you guys offended each other. Just like it's not okay for you to say sissy and it's not okay for you to think that she could walk in there and see another man having sex with another man. Right. That's totally wrong. 
because that's 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 not how she can't be misled as a woman. You know what I mean? Basically, in a two-year relationship, and he's living a whole nother life. That that's no. That's, you can't. You can't. Like I'm honest. Whatever I do, multiple girls, but I'm I'm, I'm being honest. You know what I mean? I try to be upfront. So there's no way in the world you can walk in and see a. Oh, that, that's traumatizing for a woman to see that. So that's that's just not okay, brother. I don't, I don't care what you say on that. When you talk about Atlanta specifically, it has a high HIV and AIDS yes. population. So in Atlanta specifically, it is it is only it's not only um, a duty, but it's responsible if somebody is you're in a relationship for a time period for you to be honest enough or upfront enough or have some type of disclosure, no matter what your lifestyle mm -hmm. is, it should be some type of disclosure as to what you're doing holistically. I listen here and listen to your side and it's the thing that you experienced as well. And Rob had a great point. See, the communication between each other is messed up. This is the reason why you feel like you feel because you feel like you don't have a space in the gay community to say who you are and what you are because you're going to be judged. Second of all, she also has a great point as well because she dated a man who didn't come out and tell the truth. Doesn't matter, nope, let me finish. No, I want you to just listen, I listen. It doesn't matter. She fell in love with a stranger. She went to bed with a stranger. True. She prayed with a stranger because he did not come out and tell the truth. The most thing that's important is that a woman gives so much to a lie. Can you imagine what she'll get to the truth? Mm. The reason I respect you is because you're telling the truth. Yes. What I do have a problem with, if I ever have a daughter, is you telling my daughter you love her, you want to be with her, so forth and so on, and guess what? You're not who you say you are. And I say that to say because this next person, a broken woman, who have picked and loved the wrong man, someone that abused you mentally, physically, I mean, she's getting her ass kicked over and over and over again. And to sit and let a man beat on you, I, I, I have a problem with that. And at some point you gotta stand up and know what you're worth. Know who you should love and that's you first. Don't be a broken woman. Mm. Be a blessed one. I will. Where you been at all day? I asked you a question. Where you been all day? Where you been at all day? Where have you been all day? I've been at work. But you already knew that. But when I call you, you pick up the damn phone. How am I pick up the phone when I'm at work, Sean? Yeah. That doesn't make sense, right? Being married shouldn't feel like jail. I didn't marry you to become a prisoner. Keep running your mouth. And I'm gonna make it feel like hell. Fucking phone. Give me my phone. Give me my phone. Man, touch me one more time. Touch me again. Don't push touch me. Touch me again. What's this happy birthday I talk to you later shit? That's a female coworker, okay? She's just wishing me happy birthday. So now you have a female coworker named Sean, right? Yes! And I've had one for five years. You've met her. Yo, are you cheating on me? I'm not cheating on you. Nor have I thought about it, but maybe I should. Like, what are you on today? Okay, I come home, and I cook, and I clean, and I work. I'm not trying to hear that shit. Are you cheating on me? It's my birthday. Can we not do this? Fuck your birthday. Who are you talking to? Talking to you. Watch your mouth. Get, Who do you think you talking to? Get off! Come on, watch this little smart ass mouth fell. Uh-uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, where you going? Huh? 
Huh? Open this fucking door. Come the fuck out. Just leave me alone, all right? Open this door. No way. Ephesians 5.22. So you also submit to your husband in everything you do. I thought you were a saved woman. I thought you were a God-fearing woman when I met you. Open this fucking door. I think it's a joke. I think it's a joke. Open this door. No way. I ain't going nowhere. Open this door. Stop. Why you making me act like this? I'm a God-fearing man. You got me here tripping. God, I feel he's a good man, right? I mean, he just he lost his mom and then the baby. But it's getting worse. Maybe I just need to be a better wife, maybe if I just Touch you, come out. Come out, baby. Come here. Fuck here. Yeah, right. you can't stay in there all night. Let a man hit you. I know. I'm not just talking. I'm talking about what I've been through. I love the man more than I love myself. It's not worth it. And if you have nothing else to do, you call on God because He will help you. He will see you through. I'm wishing on a star. I want to change how you. saying, you know, someone that you love in the bed with another guy, her ex, and I felt like I could never love again. Giving you my heart and you taking advantage of it is too easy for you, especially if I pick wrong. I know I'm not in it by myself. 
Doing the same old thing. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to you, Pop. Okay. Hold on. So listen. What's up? Man to man. What the truth? When you first met Mom, first time, did you think she was gonna be your wife? Hell no. <laughs> Y'all been looking at too many movies. See, our relationship was real life. I had to court and chase that woman. And she made it hard for me too. I thought I'd never have a chance to get that number. She turned me down so many times. How you keep going over and over again, keep hearing no, 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 and you still keep trying. I can't do that, Pop. Hmm. You see, when I first met her, at that moment I knew she was special. Hmm. No matter how many times she turned me down, that didn't make no difference. I had already made up in my mind that I was going to take her on a date. I took two years, but it happened, <laughs> you know? That's crazy, man. <laughs> Man, to give a woman my heart over and over again. You've been hurt before, no, you know, no. right? It's tough. How do you do that? Because I feel like that's like playing Russian roulette with my life. You see, that's what's wrong with your new generation. You don't, you don't know how to keep fighting. You give up too easy, you quit. You know, every time you hit adversity, you walk out the door, complacent in your job comfortable and always looking for a handout. Mm -hmm. You see, these instant gratification men, mm -hmm. they don't believe in work. Mm -hmm. they, they want it to come easy. And it comes easy, then they're ready. But a real man, oh, he has endurance, patience, and is witty. Mm -hmm. All you have to have is persistence and consistence to get what you want. And once you get it, you have to know how to keep it. Sound mm. easy. Mm. Love not easy, Pop. <laughs> I just don't know if I can get my heart again. You asking me to do a lot. No. I want you to be a real man, son. Now, do you know the difference between an eagle and a chicken? A what? An eagle and a chicken. Everybody knows the difference between eating and chicken. Uh, uh, yeah, well, let's, let me just tell you. You see, a chicken is a common creature. Yeah, you can find them anywhere. They all think alike, walk alike, talk alike. And they're always looking down because they're not confident. But an eagle, he thinks differently. <laughs> you see, an eagle sees things on a different plane. You see an eagle, oh, you get excited. When it rains, all the other birds, they fly for shelter. But the eagle, he flies above the clouds <laughs> to avoid adversity. Pop, I understand, but what are you talking about? <laughs> well, an uh, eagle can make love in the sky, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, God made it that way. So he would make a mistake and make love to a chicken. <laughs> mm -hmm. Moral of the story, is that you have to start thinking like an eagle and stop being a chicken, son. And Pop here, 
Oh, I didn't come out the man I am now. It took a lot of prayer and discipline. Uh, see this woman right here? She Thanks, made me man. better. Come around here, girl. Get <laughs> your fine self. Hmm. <laughs> now, it's going to be hard to find one like this. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, outstanding mother, the greatest definition of love. Mm -hmm. Faithful not only to me, but to her beliefs and values. Mm -hmm. You know, she never swayed. Mm -hmm. All the mistakes I made, and she never changed. You know, she's the one that taught me that falling in love was dumb. <laughs> oh, I, I remember hear, that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can hear right now saying that uh, it's not okay for you to be saying that I'm willing to be hurt. <laughs> Let's do something the whole world will gawk at. <laughs> Let's yes. rise in, in love. love. Let's take, take love to the heavens. heavens. And, and write, write love, love notes, notes on, on the clouds. Uh, remember that one? Yeah, I remember, remember that one. We can't forget that. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, my. I still get butterflies every time your father touches me. Mm. At night, when I pray, I thank God that I finally said yes to that cheap date he took me on. Bro, that's all I can afford. <laughs> I will never forget our first date. Mm. This man said something to me that no man had ever said before. If you give me the chance to love you, I will make you my oxygen. <laughs> Happy anniversary, baby. <laughs> we made it through another year. Yep. <laughs> Still love me the same. On our wedding night, I dropped a tear into the ocean. Now, when they find that tear, that's the day I'm gonna stop loving you. <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> Come over here, chicken. <laughs> Case study five and six. A real man and a real woman. My parents. I've been watching this love connection all my life. And I still can't get it right. I mean, this is the true value of a relationship. Loyalty, commitment, God everything that you ask for. Now, don't get me wrong, my father has been every kind of man I did my research on. But see, he was smart. When he found the right woman that made him fly, that eagle he talking about, he was smart enough to take off. So did you really think it would last 32 years? Um... Huh? <laughs> well, actually, really? I was hoping it would. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I pray that it lasts 32 more years. Oh. God willing, it will. Yeah, yeah, we've we'll been very fortunate. Mm -hmm. That's because I love you, baby. Mm, I love you too, baby. Yeah. Not many people have this. Are you right? You're right. We're one of the lucky ones, I can tell you that. Mm. We are. Man, I hope one day I can have that kind of love. I hope I'm smart enough to when I finally get my woman back, I keep her for 32 years. Real man and real woman is what we strive to be. If we're lucky, we'll become one. But you'll be twice as lucky to find one dating in Atlanta. I believe in something higher. I believe that there's something else out there for me. Oh, yeah. I believe, I believe in myself. Believe that there's something else out there for me And there is one thing that I know Wow, I finally finished my thesis And I discovered the hardest person to date Is yourself, the man in the mirror But now that I finally got my woman back I can't make excuses It's time for me to fly See, I can remember my grandfather saying Son, sit down for a second this is simple. It's easy. This is the formula to a real relationship. I follow God. She follows me. And love, hmm, it'll take care of itself. Day. I'm gonna 
Call 
了你。